Hi, this is Jane with Green Side Up. We are standing out in our tree grove today. You might notice the coats, it's a little chilly as I'm doing this video. We're going to be talking today about how you need a cross pollinator for some of your trees, your fruit trees. There are many types of fruit trees that grow here in North Carolina. For instance, here at my store, we have apple trees, persimmon, peach, plum, and the list goes on. Some of those fruit trees, you can buy one tree in your yard and it will produce fruit. There are other types of trees where you need to have two trees of different varieties in order to get the fruit. The reason for that is it's called cross-pollination. Tree A and tree B need to be cross-pollinated by the little bees in order to produce more fruit. Right now I'm standing by some pear trees. This particular pear tree is a kefir. This one is a moon glow. If I was going to buy pears, a pear tree for my yard, I would need to buy pear A and pear B. I would need to have two different varieties of pear trees for the cross-pollination. Now I can, I could buy two of this variety, but I would still need to have a third variety, a different kind, in order to make, um, in, order, in order for them to do the cross-pollination. Apple trees are another kind of fruit tree that you need two different varieties. So for instance, I have here a Fuji, I have over there a Granny Smith, that would be two different varieties that would cross-pollinate. Now, the one thing with cross-pollinating is that they do need to blossom at about the same time. And as a rule, the apple trees will be blossoming about the same time. Apple trees, pear trees, plum trees, blueberry bushes are all fruits that need to have a cross-pollinator. You need variety A and variety B or C or D. We're gonna talk about some trees that do not need cross-pollinators also. I'm standing here among some grapes. Grapes are a plant that you do not need a cross-pollinator. You could buy one grape plant and that would be fine. It will produce. You could buy two grape plants of the very same variety and they will both produce. If you wish to have different varieties, that's not a problem. They will probably do some cross-pollinating, but it, it doesn't matter. You only need one kind of grape plant. Other plants that you only need one would be a fig tree, a food, uh, yeah, persimmon, and things like your blackberries or raspberries. You do not need cross-pollinators for those types of plants. I hope that you have learned something from this video. As you can see, we have different fruits on our sign and we carry most of these fruits. The plums, the apples, the peaches. Oh, wait, by the way, peaches are self-pollinating. Pears. If you have questions about your fruits, if you have questions about whether you need a pollinator or not, feel free to come in or and ask us. We're here at the store. Or, of course, you can always leave a comment in the comment box below. It is fall when I'm doing this video. It is still time here in North Carolina to plant your fruit trees if you are interested. And, um, well, come on in. You know, there is nothing better than a fresh fruit right off your own tree. And if you plant a tree now, you will be so happy in a couple of years when they really start producing and you get that fresh fruit. This is Jane at Greenside Up. Have a very good day.